Welcome to Anaheim Media Production, also known as AMP or AMP. Here's what you missed on Monday from David and Aaron. Roll the clip. Hey, do you know it's National Pokemon Day today? What, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, do you have a favorite Pokemon? Yeah, it's Gengar. What's your favorite? My favorite Pokemon is Squirtle, much better than yours. <laughs> Whatever. Gengar would probably beat your guy anyways. Do you know when Pokemon started? Yeah, last week. No, 27 years ago. The exact day Pokemon franchise introduced on February 27, 1996. Come on, let's go catch them all. All right, let's go. Well, got you all caught up. Wait, we missed Monday, but we also missed yesterday. So let's hear from Diana and Alexandra. Hey, Diana. Do you know what today is? Um, Tuesday. Yeah, but it's also National Pancakes Day. Oh my god, it's so cool. Yep, and since I hope it's the International House of Pancakes, they're doing something for today only. Like what, free pancakes? Yep, you guessed it. If you go to IHOP today, you can get a short stack of butter, buttermilk pancakes for free. So, do you want to go after school? I'll drive. Yeah, sure, let's go. I miss pancakes? Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's just start the announcements. I'm your anchor for episode 105. Let's hear from David and Carolina. Before we start, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hands over your heart. Get ready. Begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you to David and Carolina for delivering the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, on to what's the move. Let's hear from our weather reporters, even though we're halfway through the week. Hey guys, weather segment here. Uh, our cameraman left us, so we're vlogging this section. Uh, so we're expecting weather in the high 50s in the sky. It may rain. This guy says it may rain. So if it does rain, I don't know if it is. It says right there or something. Wear a sweater. Don't send in the rain. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you guys for that weather update. It's been pretty accurate so far. Join the AUHSD Student Ambassadors this Saturday, March 4th at Savannah High School for their second Mindfulness Saturday Academy. Learn more from the following video. Sometimes people think that mindfulness just means you have to meditate and like stay still, but that's not necessarily it. It's really about like exploring what you can do to be in the moment and to be able to just like relax and just basically kind of just calm down in a way. I think mindfulness is something that every student can use. Like we're going through school and it's very hard to stay focused and there's so many challenges that come with academics and just balancing everything. So I think uh, everyone could use some mindfulness. It's a great way for you to express mindfulness. It's a great way to get your mind off of school, especially now with all this work we have. Uh, stress is really high, so I think it's a great way to just step out. You should definitely help. Highly recommend it to other students. It really helps them find um, a mindfulness activity best for them because some people won't like meditating but love journaling or some people like karaoke and not like another thing. So I feel like it gives the opportunity for students to find their own sense of mindfulness to incorporate into their lives. Hola a todos! Do you speak more than one language? Are you interested in growing your language skills through fun and engaging activities? If you do, come to Saturday Academy from 8 to 12 p.m. in room 15 with Ms. Lopez. Hope to see you guys there. Now, on to Counselor's Corner. Let's hear from Nicole. Hello, class of 2023. This is a reminder to submit your FAFSA if you haven't already done so. What are you waiting for? It's free money for school and also a graduating requirement. Are you doing a bunch of community service hours and don't know where to turn them in? First, fill out the community service hour form. You can find this on the Anaheim High School website found under Counselor's Corner. When you are in Counselor's Corner, find Community Service Resources on the left. This will open up a new page with the number of community service hours needed per class 
the Community Service Hours form, a video of how to submit your hours and community service opportunities. Once you have this form filled out, take a picture of the completed form and then log it into Thrively. Watch this video for the rest of the steps on Thrively. Students remember to submit your hours. It doesn't count unless you submit them into Thrively. Now on to clubs. AMP is selling Epic Case phone cases and gibbet charms during both lunches. Phone cases start at $20 and gibbets are $1 each. Order your phone case to fit your phone, choose the color or colors you want, and add slits to them if you want to add gibbets. I got mine. Go check them out. Remember, it's cash only. Interested in joining an organization of a Pride Week at our school? Join us on Thursday, March 2nd at 8.30 a.m. in Room 65 to help organize our very own week full of LGBTQ plus Pride at Anaheim High School. Be sure to RSVP using the QR code in this flyer. This just in from Hispanic Co. There will be a short art club meeting today from 3.30 to 4 in Room 22. We will be discussing art submission for the Color and Light show and fundraising. New members are always welcome. Wow! Latest news from eSports. We played not one, not two, but three tournaments against other high schools in the West Coast. And we won the Overwatch match. We are also still on a winning streak from Brahala. You can come by and watch our tourneys quietly next week. But first come, first serve. Now on to Link Crew. Staff, we really need you to sign up for our second annual Staff versus Student Soccer Game hosted by Link Crew. This epic event will take place on Tuesday, March 14th at 3.30 p.m. on the softball field. Don't miss out on your chance to join the fun. We also have a video that will show you all about this event. Roll the clip. All right, on your mark, get set. <laughs> take it away. the training that's been going on for the staff versus student soccer game. If you don't know this powerful weapon of mass destruction here, this is McCaskey, and she is going to tell you a few credentials about why she is on the staff team. Take it away, McCaskey. Well, Ms. Ortiz and students, I was a four-year varsity soccer player, and they played club soccer for about seven years. Oh, oh wow. And, and when, when, when did all that happen? Oh, uh... 1997. Oh, so recently, recently. This is excellent, excellent. And you've been training for this event. Coming, I mean, right? obviously. Okay, now let's just ask a question here. When's the last time you played in a soccer game? Uh, oh, last year. Last year, staff versus student soccer. A whole year. I'm only one year ago she yes. played one soccer game, and before that it was 1997. I don't think there are any questions here about our sort of, I don't know, Talent? Talent is the right word for sure. Yes. Also, just so you know, kids, I don't want to brag or anything, but the staff team has about three people signed up. You, me, and maybe Mr. Clark. The students have about 25, oh. so I'm pretty sure we're going to demolish them. Okay, staff, please sign up. Please sign up. Because please sign up. I don't, I don't want to go to the hospital again, okay? <laughs> I've been to the hospital a few times this year, and I don't want to go anymore. Anyway, okay, so uh, where should they be and when? What day? March 14th, after school, on the softball field. Which is a community field, by the way, that we yes. all use together, we share. Yes. Okay, it's a softball field, 3.30. Don't miss out on this great event. 
Now on to A is B. Happy International Women's Month. This year, Anaheim will be having their first Women's March on March 8th to celebrate women, spread awareness about women's rights and issues like gender equality, reproductive rights, and violence. Every year on the 8th of March, International Women's Day is celebrated across the globe. It's a day to recognise female achievement and a call to action, encouraging everyone to stand up for women's rights and gender equality. Gender equality means no matter your gender, you're granted the same rights, privileges and access to opportunities as everyone else. You may be thinking, why is this day so important? Throughout history, women have had to fight for the freedom and rights we enjoy today. 150 years ago, women couldn't vote, stand in Parliament, receive proper medical attention, own property, access fair legal support, get paid the same as men, visit the same public areas as men, get a proper education. The list goes on. 150 years ago, people lived in a very different world to what we know now. So how did things change? Someone didn't snap their fingers and then bam, women had all the rights. Change occurred gradually through the tireless efforts of brave women and men fighting together for what is right. Let's rewind. In the late 19th century, the fight for women's suffrage began gaining momentum. Suffrage means the right to vote, and at this time, only men could do so. This meant that all the political decisions were decided by men, including those that only affected women. As time passed, some women grew increasingly frustrated by the lack of progress and failed attempts to achieve suffrage. One of these women was Emmeline Pankhurst, who responded by forming the Women's Social and Political Union in 1903, which encouraged a stronger kind of activism. This led to years of protests, rallies and strikes, with women being arrested, jailed, injured and some even losing their lives in the fight for suffrage. When the First World War was declared in 1914, suffragettes shifted their campaign to encourage women's involvement in the war effort. The devastation of war brought the nation together in support of one another and attitudes began to change. Women took on responsibilities and jobs that they were previously excluded from, like working as mechanics and drivers. In 1918, the Representation of the People Bill was passed, giving women the right to vote. However, it was only some women of a certain age and circumstance. It wasn't until 1928 that all women over 21 were finally allowed to vote. The right to vote is instrumental in creating a society that is fair and just. Imagine if all the UK were one gigantic football team. Half of the team can play exactly as they are, while the other is blindfolded. The team probably isn't going to do so great. The same goes for a society. If everyone has the same rights and freedoms, a society can grow and develop in a way that benefits everyone. Once women were able to vote, the ball began rolling on other rights, like political representation, access to greater opportunities, fairer pay and working rights. As you can see, change takes time. It wasn't until 1979 that Britain had its first female Prime Minister, which was 76 years after Emmeline Pankhurst first established the Women's Social and Political Union. So what does gender equality look like today? We are fortunate to live in a time and place where incredible opportunities are in abundance. Everyone can get an education, access healthcare, get a job and speak their minds. However, we still have some work to do before we reach equality for all. One way that gender inequality plays out in our everyday life is through stereotypes. 
A stereotype is a generalized opinion of a person or group of people. Ever heard someone say something like, you throw like a girl, or boys don't cry? These kinds of phrases exist because of centuries of restrictive ideas about gender that really aren't true or fair. People are way too unique and complex to fit neatly in a box. Girls and boys can be athletic, fast and strong. And of course, everyone cries. It's normal and healthy to express your feelings and to be vulnerable. Stereotypes can be really damaging and can prevent you from being yourself and reaching your potential. Today, women are still the minority in Parliament. Leadership roles and career fields like science and engineering, as well as making less money than men on average. So, this International Women's Day, think about what you could do to help in the fight for equality. Everyone benefits when we are all treated equally. Why not celebrate the amazing achievements of women you admire? Especially now you know just what it took to get there. Now on to Vapa. Do you like cookies? If the answer is yes, then you know that there is nothing better than eating cookie freshly baked out of the oven. The choir program will be collecting orders for cookie dough till Monday, March 6th. Find any choir member to submit your orders today. Help out the choir make some dough. Now on to sports. Today, JV softball will be having an away game against Sunny Hill starting at 3.15. JV baseball will be having a home game against Catella starting at 3. Varsity baseball will be having an away game against Catella starting at 3. And all levels of volleyball will be having a home game against Valencia starting at 3.30. Make sure to go out and support our sports teams. That's all the announcements that we have for today. Remember to like and subscribe to Anaheim Media Production on YouTube and follow us on Instagram at anaheimhs.amp. And tune in next time on AMP.